everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Liz and I love everything DIY and crafting I have my spring tier tray set up for you guys today where I do 10 DIYs to decorate your tier tray with make sure that you stick around to the end of the video if you want to see how everything is finished and how I decorated the tier tray put it all together I figure that's easier than showing them right after on the tear tray every single time so i will have the reveal at the end of the video so without further ado let's go ahead and get started for this first one i just grabbed a piece of scrap wood from my garage we cut it at an angle so that it looked like a little house you can pick up little house shapes like this at the dollar tree mine just hardly ever have them so a piece of scrap wood is free <laughs> and that's what I use so I'm just gonna paint it in this flamingo coral color from apple barrel and I'm gonna paint the back and all the sides and the top and then I grabbed this scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby I found this pack and it was absolutely gorgeous I had to grab it and I loved this pattern and the colors on it so I'm just gonna trace that house out onto the scrapbook paper I'm gonna cut that out and and then using my glue stick, I'm going to attach the scrapbook paper to the front of my house. And then to get all the pieces that are kind of hanging off of the sides, I'm just going to use my craft knife and cut those off easy peasy and then I'm gonna take some twine I'm gonna wrap it around the house I'll tie a double knot to keep it in place wrap it around a couple more times and then tie another double knot to keep all of that in place and then once I have that done I'm gonna take some wood beads that I get from Amazon I always have those linked down below if I picked it up from Amazon It'll most likely be in the description box, so make sure you look there if you're interested. And I'm going to put three beads on each strand, so those two leftover strands of twine. And then I will tie them at the bottom to keep them in place, and that's it for this one. For this DIY, I'm going to take these terracotta pots that I got from the Dollar Tree, so you get three for a dollar. I'm going to use two of them in this project, and I'm going to paint both of them in my Waverly chalk paint in white. I'm going to make sure to paint one of the bottoms on them because you will see part of that bottom. And then I do go paint the inside just a little bit, probably about half an inch or so, just so that if you do happen to see inside of it, it's not going to be that terracotta color and then I'm going to dry brush some of my mineral color chalk paint from Waverly all over there with a chip brush. I'm going to do it to both of my terracotta pots and then I'm going to grab some Spanish moss that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to fill both of my pots with those. For the first one I'm just going to do a little bit just so that it's kind of poking out the top and then I'll add some hot glue to it because I want the top terracotta pot to be slanted so you can see what I'm doing here I just have it tipped over a little bit sitting right inside and then I'm gonna fill it with Spanish moss some florals that I believe I got these from Michaels last year and I just filled the top pot with them and then put some sticking out of the bottom pot and this is how this one turned out you guys, I'm so excited because my website is now live. I will have it linked down in the description box below where you can go and shop my craft kits and stay up to date with some of my favorite projects here on YouTube. It's so much fun and I am so glad that it is finally live for you guys to be able to go and see it. I'll have my website linked down below. And also here's a little sneak peek of my spring collection, which I cannot wait for you guys to see. I did an Another kit that will go on your tiered tray and you can purchase them in a bundle or you can purchase them as individual pieces if you just want to pick and choose which ones you want. I also have three new signs that I'm so excited for you guys to see that are spring related. These can be used as door hangers or shelf pieces or wall pieces. The possibilities are 
pretty much endless. All of our pieces are really easy to do. All you're gonna do is paint and stain them in your favorite color and then use some sort of clear glue. I've used my craft glue from the Dollar Tree. I've used clear wood glue. All of those work and you're just going to put all the pieces together. A lot of our pieces come engraved on the back of the sign so you know exactly where to put all your pieces. But in case you're not sure how to put it together, I always make sure to have a little tutorial video over on my Facebook page where you can watch me put it together so that it will help you put yours together as well. So like I said, everything will be linked down in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for all the support that you've given me on this. I'm absolutely blown away and was so blown away by my Easter collection. You guys were giving me so much work. <laughs> so I so appreciate it and it means the world to me to know that you guys love them and I've also been absolutely loving seeing you guys paint them and sending me pictures of your finished pieces keep them coming because it is so much fun to see how you guys decorate them so again thank you guys so much I'll have everything linked down below and let's go ahead and jump into the next DIY for this DIY I'm gonna grab one of these little containers that I got from Hobby Lobby their spring collection is all 40% off right now and this was part of it so I got that 40% off. So I believe I paid maybe like two dollars for it. It was pretty affordable. And then I'm gonna grab some of my solo wood flowers. You guys know how much I love these but I'm gonna do something a little bit different with them. I am going to take them apart and cut them all up. <laughs> so I just took some colors that I really liked and that kind of matched the theme of my tear tray. If you can't tell it's gonna be a corally color. I love my tear trays to have kind of a theme and that is the theme that I was going for on this spring tier tray. So I'm just going to cut all these flowers up and then I'll cut up the flowers even more just to make them really small, as small as I can get them. Once I have them all cut up the way that I want them, I'm gonna put them in my jar. So, so cute. I love the look that it gave this. If you're ever interested in solo wood flowers, I will link them down below. They are my absolute favorite thing to craft with lately. I have been super obsessed, plus they always have really great deals. So if you want to check them out, I will leave that linked below. So after I get this filled up with my cut up flowers, <laughs> I'm gonna take this ribbon that you can get from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna cut it down to size and hot glue it around the middle of my little bottle. And that's it for this DIY. For this next one, I am gonna grab some strips of fabric, this ticking fabric that I got from burlapfabric.com. I actually already had all these strips cut out so it was kind of perfect and I'm going to grab a foam ball and I'm just going to start using some Mod Podge and I'm going to make a ball out of this fabric <laughs> and, and lots of Mod Podge. So all you're going to do is Mod Podge your strips, stick it onto your ball, Mod Podge it on top of the strips on the ball and you're just going to do the same thing covering the entire ball. I had some Easter eggs that looked like this, but it had brown craft paper and I wanted something to kind of go along with those. So that is why I decided to make one of these. I figured out towards the end that it's really easy to do this with your fingers, just, you know, getting the Mod Podge on your fingers and mushing it all around. <laughs> and I left that to dry overnight. And that's all you have to do for this one. For this DIY, I'm gonna grab one of these signs that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I took out the little tile portion in the middle and I'm gonna mix some of my flamingo coral with some white to kind of get a lighter coral color and I'm gonna paint the back of the sign in this color. Once I have that all done, I created a decal using my Cricut and I just cut that out. Now, it was not sticking to the paint at all, so to make it stick, a little trick is to use some Mod Podge on top of your sign, wait for that to dry, and then go in with your decal afterwards. Also, as just a side note, I always get questions about my transfer tape. I get it from expressionsvinyl.com. I will have that linked in the description box for you if you're interested. Almost every single time I get a question about what transfer tape I use, so I will have that linked below. 
So I'm just going to put my decal on, burnish it, rub it all onto my sign, remove that transfer tape. And I will add a couple dots of hot glue back to the sign and then I'll just stick that piece right back on in there. And that's it for this DIY. For the next couple ones, these are really easy and so cute. I found these little watering cans at Hobby Lobby. Again, they were 40% off, so I believe I paid maybe $2 for them. And I just cut out a couple decals. One says, Hello Spring. I'm going to take that same ticking fabric that I used on that ball. I'm going to fray the edges and then I just tied a double knot at the top, cut off the excess fabric so it just had a little knot at the top and then I'll put some twine on it as well, do the same thing, wrap it around a couple times, tie a double knot and then I just put some florals and some greenery inside that I had lying around. They were just little extra pieces that I had. And then that is it for this one. I think these watering cans are so cute. I absolutely love them. And then again, going along with that watering can, I found this one in coral, which <laughs> went perfectly with my idea for the coral color tear tray. So I just cut out with my Cricut Love Grows here and I placed that onto my watering can. And then I'm just gonna use that same ticking fabric and I'm gonna tie a little knot around the handle. Super, super easy. And I feel like these watering cans add such cuteness <laughs> to my tear tray. They're so simple to do. You're just jazzing up some pieces and making it match your tear tray or your theme, whatever you're going for. So easy and they look absolutely adorable. And then again, another easy one. I got this little tin from Hobby Lobby as well. Again, really cheap. I think I paid like less than $2 for it. I'm gonna grab some Spanish moss from the Dollar Tree, fill that up with that. And then I got all these succulents a couple years ago from Joann's and I'm just going to arrange them in my little bucket. However, I like it. <laughs> whatever looks good and then I'm gonna take some rocks that I got from the Dollar Tree kind of scatter those around the top and then again I will grab that same ticking fabric and wrap it around my tin make sure the edges are all frayed tie a double knot and then I went in with some twine wrapped that around a couple times tied a double knot it's really amazing what you can do just by adding a little bit to a piece that's already really cute. You don't have to do big DIYs to make your tear tray look absolutely adorable. Just take something you really like, jazz it up a little bit, and there you go. For this next one, I grabbed this wood round from the Dollar Tree. I just cut off the jute hanger at the top and then I'm gonna go in with that same mixture of my flamingo coral and some white paint, mix it together, and then I'm gonna paint the entire circle in this color, the front, the back, the sides. All of it will be <laughs> in this coral color. Once I'm done with that, I am going to, I cut out this bird using my Cricut. This is a bird that they already had on Design Space, so I just cut this out. I'm gonna place it on the middle of my circle. And then once I get that off there, I'm gonna take some mineral color chalk paint and I'm going to dry brush over the bird, over the front of the sign. I'll also go in with some white paint and do the exact same thing, just dry brushing over it. And then once that's all done, I'm going to remove the bird. So we've created a little stencil and I think this turned out absolutely adorable. I love how the bird is in coral and everything else is distressed around it. I just think it turned out really, really cute. And then after I get all the vinyl off, I'm gonna take some twine. I'm going to loop it through that hole at the top. I'll tie a knot. And then again, I'm gonna go in with my wood beads from Amazon and string some beads on there, tie a knot to secure them, and that's it for this DIY. I think it turned out so cute. I love the bird, and, and I think it looks great on my tiered tray. For this next one, I found these little napkin holders. I 
I can't remember exactly what they're called, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I got them from Hobby Lobby and I thought they looked so cute, like little cages. And I knew that I could make something really cute with them. So I'm going to just make shift a little bottom for each of them just by using these chalkboard tags from the Dollar Tree. And I just cut out little circles and then hot glued it to the bottom of my little napkin holders or cages, if you will. And I just stuck those down and then I took some greenery and some little florals that I had laying around and I just started sticking all the florals and the greenery inside of these. I wanted them to look like little grow cages. I wanted the floral and the greenery to be growing outside of the cage and through the cage. So I just started sticking florals and greenery through the little holes in there and made it look all overgrown and I think it turned out really, really cute. So I'm gonna do that for both of my cages and then I'm gonna take that same ticking fabric and I'm going to tie around the bottom of them, just tying in a double knot, cutting off the excess fabric and then I'll do the exact same thing to the second one and then you have two grow cages that look so stinking cute. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I will ever figure out where the road goes I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down today's video thank you guys so much for watching let me know what your favorite project was in the comments down below again I will have my website linked down below so that you can go on and shop my craft kits don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one bye is a winding road no telling where it goes